السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة Brothers and sisters in Islam, fear Allah and read the Quran and listen as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in Surah Al-Nisa, the women, chapter 4, verses 26 through 28, where Allah ta'ala, he says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ وَيَهْدِيَكُمْ سُنَنَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَيَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ حَكِيمٌ والله يريد أن يتوب عليكم ويريد الذين يتبعون الشهوات أن تميلوا ميلا عظيما يريد الله أن يخفف عنكم وخلق الإنسان ضعيفا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in these ayah which means and Allah wants to clarify for you and to guide you to the ways of those that came before you and to accept your repentance. And Allah is Alim, the All-Knower, Hakim, the All-Wise. And Allah wants to accept your repentance. And those who follow the desires, they want you to digress with a great deviance. Allah wants to lighten the burden upon you, and the human being has been created weak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he states here that Allah wants to explain to you. He wants to clarify to you. He wants to make it clean. He wants to make it clear to you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
He doesn't explain to make what clear to you or for what, re how to, or for what reason to make it clear to you. But he says in other verses, And likewise, Allah makes clear to you his verses so that you may be guided. Allah makes clear to you his verses so that you may be guided. In other verses, Allah Ta'ala, he says, And Allah clarifies for you so that you don't go astray. And Allah has all knowledge of all things. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has clarified for us the Qur'an. The Qur'an explains the Qur'an. And the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explains the Qur'an as well. As Allah Ta'ala says in the Qur'an, وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And we have revealed the reminder, the Qur'an, the revelation to you, meaning to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so that you can explain, that you can make clear, clarify to the people that which has been revealed to them, so that perhaps they may be guided. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, so that perhaps they may reflect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues in these ayah from Surah An-Nisa and to guide you to the sunan, to the ways of those who came before you. Allah does not explain in this verse who are those that came before you, that he is guiding you to their ways. But in other verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions over 15 prophets and then he says, أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ هَدَى اللَّهُ فَبِهُدَاهُ مُقْتَدِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after he mentions the names of these prophets and messengers, he says, those are the ones whom Allah has guided, so you be guided by their guidance. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he shows us the ways of those who came before us, referring to the prophets and messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we see in other verses in the Qur'an. Or as we pray in every raka'ah, إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ نَعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ Guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom you have bestowed your blessings upon. Allah Ta'ala explains who they are in other verses as he says, وَمَا يُطِعَ اللَّهُ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا ذَلِكَ الْفَضْلُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ عَلِيمًا And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, then they are along with those whom Allah has bestowed His blessings upon amongst the prophets and the righteous and the martyrs and the truthful and they are the best company. That is the bounty and the favor of Allah and Allah is sufficient as one with knowledge. I want to explain here as well that the Qur'an is explained by the Qur'an and the Qur'an is explained by the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we have been commanded to follow the ways, the guidance of those who came before us of the prophets and messengers as well as the last prophet and messenger to all of humanity, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Ta'ala, he says, وَمَن يُشَاقِقَ الرَّسُولَ مِن بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَىٰ وَيَتَّبِعُ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّىٰ وَنُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَ وَسَاتْ مَصِيرًا Allah Ta'ala says, and whoever opposed the Messenger, meaning Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after clear guidance has come to him and follows a way other than the way of the believers, he has turned himself to that which he has turned himself to, and that he will be entered into Jahannam, or what an evil abode. Allah commands us to follow the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not to turn away from that and to follow the way of the believers. This obviously refers to the Prophets and Messengers and the last Prophet and Messenger to humanity, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But at the time of the revelation of this verse, it referred to the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of whom we have been commanded to follow their way. In these ayah, or in the authentic hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, أُصِيكُمْ بِتَقْوَ اللَّهِ وَالسَّمْعِ وَالطَّاعَةِ وَنْ عَبْدًا حَبَشِيَّةِ فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ يَعِشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيْرَ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الْمَهْدِيِّينَ الرَّاشِدِينَ 
تمسكوا بها وعضوا عليها بالنواجد وإياكم ومحدثات الأمور فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة أخرجوا أبو داود والترمذي إن this is a حسن حديث on the authority of Al-Arbad ibn Usariya where the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was giving a sermon and he said I advise you to fear Allah and to hear and obey those who are in charge even if an Ethiopian slave and indeed whoever from amongst you lives after me he will see many differences of an opinion so I advise you with my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifas after me referring the, to the companions of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam adhere to that way Hold strictly to that way and be aware of newly invented matters in the religion as every newly invented matter in the religion is a bid'ah and every bid'ah is a strain. I wanted to remind myself and you all that Allah Ta'ala clarifies for us his religion, his wise laws by explaining the Qur'an with the Qur'an or by explaining the Qur'an with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or having the Qur'an and the sunnah explained by the first ones to believe in the last Prophet and Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam referring to the Sahaba Radwanullahi Ta'ala Alayhim This is our religion and Allah Ta'ala wants to accept our repentance We are commanded to follow the Qur'an and the Sunnah and to practice it to the best of our ability the way it was already practiced by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba but when we fall short, we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is alimun hakim. Allah is the all-knower, the all-wise. Yurid Allah, wallah, yurid wa yatuba alaykum. And Allah wants to accept your repentance. Allah emphasizes the importance of repentance. Wa tubu ila Allahi jami'an ayyuhal mu'minun al'allakum tuflihun. As Allah ta'ala says in other verses, and repent to Allah all together, O you who believe, if you want to be successful. Allah Ta'ala says in other verses, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, tubu ilallahi tawbatan nasuha. O you who believe, repent to Allah with a sincere repentance. Wa yuridu alladheena yattabi'oona shahawati an tamilu maylan azima. And those who follow the desires, they want you to go astray with a great deviance. Meaning they're not happy that they disbelieve themselves or that did disobey Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but they want you to do as they did. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala He says in other verses وَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ تَكْفُرُونَ وَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَتَكْفُرُونَ كَمَا كَفَرُوا فَتَكُونُونَ سَوَاءَ And those who disbelieve, they want you to disbelieve just like they disbelieve so you can be the same. Or as Allah Ta'ala He says in other verses what do law to the Hindu for you the Hindu? And they want you to compromise just like they compromise. Just like they water down their religion and change it from year to year and accommodate whatever they want to, they want us to do that with them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to clarify for us our religion and guide us to the ways of those who came before us and to accept our repentance. So let's repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek his forgiveness. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the forgiveness and the repentance of those who repent to him and seek his forgiveness as he commands. And seek your Lord's forgiveness and then repent to him. We seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness and we repent to him. I said what I had to say and I seek forgiveness for myself and for you and for all of the Muslims. So seek Allah's forgiveness. Indeed, He is the forgiving, the merciful. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika la wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu amma ba'du. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here in the next verse, يريد الله أن يخفف عنكم وقلق الإنسان ضعيفا. And Allah wants to make things lighten for you, and Allah created the human being weak. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's religion and Islam is easy. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in the Hadith of Al Bukhari, إن الدين يسر ولا يشاد الدين أحد إلا غلبة. Al Hadith. Indeed, the religion is easy, and no one will overdo it. 
except that it will overcome him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in ayah in the Quran, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ Allah wants ease for you, and he does not want any difficulty for you. Allah ta'ala, he says in other verses, مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَ مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَرَجْ وَلَكِنْ يُرِيدُ لِيُطَاهِرَكُمْ وَلِيُتَمَّ نِعْمَتَهُ عَلَيْكُمْ لَعَلَكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And Allah does not want to place any difficulty on you, but He wants to purify you and complete His favor upon you so that you may be thankful. Allah Ta'ala says in other verses, مَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ إِلَّا تَعَبِيكُمْ إِبْرَاهِيمٌ and Allah made no difficulty for you in the religion, the religion of your forefather, Ibrahim, Khalilullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Ta'ala says in other verses, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah does not burden a soul beyond its capability. Or Allah Ta'ala says, ولا لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا ما آتاها سيجعل الله بعد عسر يسرا. And Allah does not burden a soul except what Allah has given that soul. And Allah will make ease after difficulty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in other verses, Fear Allah as much as you have the ability to do so. And this is the same statement of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith of Al-Bukhari Muslim from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu where the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا أَمَرْتُكُمْ بِأَمْرٍ فَأْتُوا مِنْهُ مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ if I command you to do something, then do it as much as you have the ability to do so. Al-Islam is the truth. It's the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who explains the Quran? The Quran explains the Quran. Who explains the Quran? Muhammad, the last prophet and messenger to all of humanity sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains the Quran. Who are the first group of Muslims to believe in Allah and his last prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To obey Allah and his last prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To understand and practice the Quran and the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their lives. They are the sahaba of the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want to warn you, as this has been sneaking around in the Muslims ummah, they're calling us to understand the Qur'an, to practice the Qur'an with other than the understanding of the Qur'an itself, for itself, and the sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explaining the Qur'an, and the sahaba of the Messenger alayhi wa was salam, but they're calling us to follow Imam so-and-so, or his madhab such-and-such, or the Sufi tariqa such-and-such or the jama'ah such and such, or the individual imam such and such. What verse in the Qur'an calls us to that? What authentic hadith of the Prophet sallallahu calls us to that? The Qur'an is clear. Kitabun mubi, A clear book. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ And the Qur'an is made easy to remember. So who will remember it? Meaning the Qur'an is easy to understand and practice in your lives to the best of your abilities. Don't be tricked. Forgive my expression, but years ago we used to say, Islam is not spooky. It's crystal clear. No one has a monopoly on it. It's for all of humanity and the jinn to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon this religion. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah said, I have not created the jinn nor the mankind except to worship me. Let's worship Allah upon the Qur'an and the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's believe in the Qur'an and understand it and practice it in our lives to the best of our abilities, the way that it was believed in, practiced, and understood by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself and the Sahaba. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannah. O oh Allah, we ask you for Jannah. Allahumma ajirna minan nar. O oh Allah, save us from the fire. 
Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab an nar. Our Lord, give us the good in this world and the good in the hereafter and save us from the fire. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka la nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Walhamdulillah.